What's up guys, and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to install survival games. If you don't know what survival games is, it's just a Hunger Games plugin. It's automated, you don't have to start the game, it does it by itself. And you can have Hunger Games running on your server. So, first thing you want to do is, right here, the green download recommended button, click that. Then click download on the right and hit keep and put this in your plugins folder of your server. So here's my plugins folder, just drop that in and restart your server. Okay, once your server is downloaded, go to your plugins folder and you should see a new folder that says survival games and here open up the config file and here you can change all the things that you want auto start when you have this many players that means that the game will auto start so if you want to change it if you if you have a small server and you want it to auto start when you have five players then change it to five and once this has been like once five players have been accepted into the game then within 20 seconds the game will start and you can start by getting a 75 percent chance of your players by voting so if 75 percent of your players vote then the game will automatically start if you don't have five players Enable player queue, disallow commands, that's all up to you. Grace period. This is the period, this is the amount of seconds that each player is invincible. So I'll give them a minute. You can change it to whatever you want. Restock chess, I'd set that to true. You can change your whitelist, which prevents a player from placing a block or breaking a block. Um, if you have a MySQL server, it's all up to you. you can change the information here. Stats. You can all change that. So once you have your settings to what you like, exit out of it and save it. Before we head on to Minecraft, take a look at the permissions page. And, and they've set it up for where you can just copy it from each group. So this is the players group. If you want admins to have their permissions, give them these permissions. And then restart your server and head on to Minecraft. Alright, so now you're going to want to have a Hunger Games map. And try to have Multiverse Core or any multiple world plugin. See so if you want to have different multiple worlds on your server. Like one for your spawn, one for Hunger Games. Yeah, you'll need Multiverse Core or another plugin. And I have a tutorial on that. So, if you do have Multiverse Core, then just download the map, drop it in your folder, your normal Minecraft folder with all your worlds, and then import it. If you don't know how to do any of that stuff, just watch my tutorial, and I'll show you how to import worlds and stuff like that. So, here, you can use your own Hunger Games map, or use this one I'll have a link in the description you can download it you're gonna wanna create a lobby this is what I call my lobby where players will wait until the next game starts so once you have something like this find a spot where you want them to spawn to and then do slash sg space set lobby spawn and then it says lobby spawn point set. Now we're going to create the the lobby wall. And you're going to need signs for this. Or right. the most recommended wall is nine by three. That's the most recommended size for a wall. So just do this. And you might think this is weird, but this is just what you have to do. So I'll skip and once I'm done with this, 
I'll start the video again. So once you're done with all those signs, make sure you have the plugin world edit so you can use your wand in left click here in the top right corner and then right click on the bottom left corner and type slash SG space set lobby wall and then it'll come up with this and you can just watch what it does alright yeah that's a problem we need an arena so obviously we have an arena but we have to actually set the spawn points so it needs to be from the top right to the bottom left so we're gonna start over here I'm gonna fast forward this so you have to watch all this process go by right here would be a good spot you can use any block because you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to like get the whole area that means all the way down to where the grass is so we're just gonna do this it's much faster you're like you're probably like what are, what are you doing but this makes sure that I get all of the area because this is a dome that's the only problem just because this is a dome it, it makes it a lot harder alright now we almost got all of that covered alright I'd say that's good Alright, I say that's 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 fine. Now you can select that and now we're gonna have to go all the way to the bottom of the other side of the arena. So the bottom corner. Now you're gonna need to act like it's an actual square. So line it up as if it was a square. Right here is good. It, it doesn't matter if you're outside of the arena, as long as you get all. Because they're not going to actually go past the glass, so that's that doesn't matter. And you're going to want to get down some. Oh, not good, not good. But you don't want to go too far. You get down some dirt because. And then now you've got both positions set, first and second. You type in slash SG create arena. Arena ID one successfully added. Alright, now that we've created this, we're gonna go to our spawn point in the game inside of the map, and we're gonna have to set those spawns. Now I have a map of 12 spawns but you can destroy some blocks move it around to create how many you want and here we are there's 12 little spawn points and we're gonna create we're gonna set all of them so that each player spawns in one of these holes and if they spawn here they won't be able to move because that's how the plugin set up so you don't have to create no glass cover, you don't have to do any of that. So type slash SG set spawn next. And then spawn one will be created. Then move to your next one and just do the same thing. To make it faster, alright well we actually have to get in this way. So to make it faster, you can just press T and then up arrow and then enter spawn two alright so do this for every single one and I'm gonna pause the video and then resume it once I'm done
Alright, so I've created my 12th spawn. And that means we're done. We've, we've set the spawn, set the arena, we've done everything. So now, all that a player has to do is type in slash SG join. And they'll, they'll, um, yeah, they'll spawn in one of these holes. And once you get the maximum amount of players or the maximum amount of votes, your game will automatically start. They'll run for their chest, they'll kill each other. And then once that game's over, someone else can start the new game. Alright, that's basically it for all this tutorial. Subscribe and like.